Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful people. This is going to be a collective reading. I will follow up with another Scorpio reading for this new week. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls are feeling grounded, balanced, and in alignment. Um, Spirit put it on my heart to do a reading, so that's why we're here. As you all know, I don't pump them out daily. I pump them out whenever I feel Spirit has something to say. So we're going to delve right in without further ado. But before we do, you already know going to do some house cleaning, beloved. So let's go ahead, take a deep breath, inhale, and then we're going to exhale. You may hear some Reverend Ike playing in the background. That's kind of like my vibe, right? You know what I'm saying? It's just listening to that, Neville Goddard, just positive affirmations overall. Um, so let's go ahead, do that, and then we shall proceed with the read. Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo, beautiful souls. So we have, it is currently 203 on the Kliz Op. That breaks down to five. Five deals with the throat chakra, but five also deals with the hierophant. And the song that we have playing right now is Blue Magic. <laughs> so look how that just uh, lined up. See the synchronicity in that? The throat, the throat chakra being the fifth. And then we have Blue Magic. And the name of the song is called What's Come Over Me. And this was done in 1974. Some of you all that are tuning in, tapping in, 1974 could be your birth year. Uh, maybe someone that you're dealing with, someone that is of significant, may have been born in 1974. Uh, the 1974 breaks down um, to 12. That breaks down to 12. So the 12 is the three, which is the empress energy. So a maternal energy. If it's a masculine, it could be a masculine energy. Uh, but that three is also solar plexus. Um, trusting your gumption, trusting your inner guidance, that inner knowing so it's very connected to your your crown, your mind, your brain. Uh, the stomach acts as a second brain. So maybe some of you all are kind of going within. Maybe you're kind of taking some internal self audits. With the throat chakra, there could be someone communicating. Maybe someone you haven't heard from in a long time. This could also speak to you kind of mastering something. Um, really honing in or focusing your energy uh, on learning some sort of skill, a particular skill or maybe you're going back to class, maybe you're going back to school. Um, but I just get a feeling like there's something that's coming over you that you can no longer ignore. So maybe these are suppressed feelings or maybe there is some sort of implosion that's taking place and you can no longer hide how you're feeling. With the five, I'm also getting maybe there are, um, you know, some, some missed uh, communication. You know, maybe there's someone that, is missing you or maybe someone's realizing something with magic someone could have been under a spell of some sort maybe there was some sort because you know words are spells spells bind so with the blue magic maybe that is why i was feeling maybe there was something suppressed could have been suppressed emotions or maybe this is just someone suppressing something that they have been um perhaps trying to ignore and now they can no longer hide these feelings because now they're like what is coming over me they don't they, it's like they're out of control like it's an incontrollable um feeling is what i'm getting but with that five as i said that's the hierophant so this is really speaking to also like a spiritual prowess like becoming very spiritually strong uh spiritually awakened uh because that hierophant maybe you're studying 
um, under like a master teacher, uh, cause I was picking up, like, maybe you're going to be taking some classes. It could be online. Maybe you're going to be learning from some sort of master teacher. Um, maybe this is in regards to, um, you know, maybe you going through some sort of initiation process, or maybe you're, you know, going through some sort of rites of passage, but I do get a strong sense of like, um, building your wealth of knowledge, learning something, maturing more importantly. Um, and with what's come over me, I just feel like there's something that isn't in, in your control anymore in terms of perhaps maybe ignoring it or suppressing it. This could either be your energy or whomever or whatever you're dealing with. But let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively, beloved. So to anyone, before I touch the cards, I just want to welcome you all. My name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am a clairaudient um, reader, so I do incorporate music into the readings and the way that it works. The name of the songs, lyrics within the songs, 555 five, five on the clock. Some of y'all could be dealing with the devil, so that's why I feel like there could be some sort of magic spell or some sort of witchcraft. Someone could have been under a spell of some sort and maybe they're realizing like yo what's been what's come over me like maybe someone's not feeling like themselves because I just saw that 555 five, which is the devil in traditional tarot but the 555 five, five breaks down to 15 which breaks down to 6 so trust your intuition but I am an intuitive reader a cloud audience reader so I do incorporate music into the readings and the way that it works like I said is the name of the song lyrics within the song maybe the time stamp on the clock maybe the synchronicities I see it will all correlate to whatever I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may say and it all just blends beautifully um um, my spill here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force anything to be your story. Leave your negative confident comments to yourself. We don't do negative Nancy's. Debbie Down is a lying ass Larry's on this side. We don't do no hating ass Harry's either. Um, if it doesn't apply, let it go. Let it flow. Let it fly by. Do not try to force things to be your story. Take what what actually fits, what resonates, and then leave the rest. There could just be a little tidbit in here for you. There could be, you know, maybe the whole reading resonates, but sometimes a lot of people, when they don't hear what they want to hear, they tend to resort to leaving negative comments and telling me their life story. And that's not something that I am actually interested in hearing um, my spiel. So as I said, eat the fish, spit out the bones, but I'm also um, a timeless reader. So whenever this video popped up in your feed, whenever you felt compelled to click play, that was divine timing and in divine order that you've done so. So I will that you enjoy this reading, that the messages resonate to all of my beloveds that are returning. You already know what it is. Love is love is love is love is love. I send y'all extra love because you know I love y'all that much. So now without further ado, let me take a breath. <sighs> I felt like I was speed talking just now. I don't know. Spirit got something to say today, baby. We're going to have a good read. But as I said, this is a collective read. Spirit wanted me to do a collective read. So this is going to be applicable to everyone, not just Scorpios. We all have every um, sign in our chart. So it will very much behoove you to look at your natal charts if you haven't already and get familiar with them. Get familiar with your placements. Get familiar with what's in what houses. Get p familiar with the positions of these planets because it can provide a more in-depth understanding of yourself. So I definitely encourage you all to do that. Right now we have Common and this is called Nag Champa. So some of you all could be from Chicago. I definitely am hearing what I heard initially was like common sense isn't common at all. So someone could be really like, um, you know, it could be like I'm hearing blind ignorance, you know. So, you know, there could be some situation that is requiring you requiring you to use your intuition um, because there is a situation where I feel like, you know, common sense especially nowadays like if you if you just take a pause and just observe your surroundings observe you know people's behaviors or just observe the world in general and where we are common sense seems to be like a thing of the past it's like so it's like we always have to be um utilizing our intuition utilizing our discernment and not going along to get along not following a crowd not being you know a part of group think you know we are all uniquely made and it is meant for us to be different because to be different is to be you know rare it is a special and unique thing um to be different but when you look like everyone sound like everyone dress like everyone and have a very similar personality and disposition then you are you you kind of um you're blended in so i feel like spirit is saying that there is a need to 
always use your intuition um, and more so when it comes to individuals that you may uh, be around, people that you allow in your cipher or even in circles that you may be trying to insert yourself in. Um, 10, 10 on the clock. So that 10 deals with the wheel of fortune. I feel things are moving and shaking, like things are shifting for you because there has been something stagnant. There's been stagnancy because maybe there were a lot of people around you that had, um, you know, these, the, these personality traits that weren't necessarily, uh, becoming, um, so there is something that's dying, something that's ending, because every ending denotes a new beginning. The 10 and the 10 reduces to 20. 20 is the, the uh, judgment card. So I do feel like, you know, maybe there's this awakening because I was picking up earlier with the song that was playing. Um, what is this feeling by the, um, what is that? The, 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 do, 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 what was that group? Oh Lord, I forgot that fast. Blue magic, that there was someone that could have been under some sort of spell, you know, like, and spells are spells and spells, bind. like spells are, words are spells, pardon me, and spells bind. So this could be someone that could have been like just 11, 11 on the clock. So definitely like this could be a download that some of you all are now getting, because when you think of 11, 11, 11 is a power number, but the number 11 is like, it's a portal that opens up so that you can receive downloads so that you could receive, you know, upgrades, transmissions, you know, so I feel like there was something that may have awakened within another person or within a person that may be tuning in that kind of let them know that something else was going on. And it's like, you know, common sense could have, if someone implemented or utilizes, utilized their common sense, they could have avoided a situation. But let's see what the cards have to say. On the bottom of the deck, we got 11, and I was just saw 11, 11, and it's about to be 11, 11 right now. So confirmation, synchronicities, a lot of you all may be receiving that. When you go out in nature, I feel like you're gonna get some powerful downloads. You may bump into a lot of animal totems, and you need to look up the spiritual meanings of those animal totems. The other day I took a nature walk and I found $20. I'm going to use that as a picture for this video, but I found $20. I saw four yellow birds. I saw four blue jays. I, four, I saw five um, red cardinals. I saw a hawk, uh, not a hawk, pardon me, a falcon. Well, I did see hawks, um, but the falcon is more rare for me to see. Saw a falcon. Um, so I do feel like there is um, going to be some profound messages when you go out in nature. Nature allows for you to ground yourself. It also allows for you to release, to purge, you know, any negativity or any negative energy. It also opens up your crown, opens up, you know, because when you're breathing in fresh air or breathing in that prana, it allows for you to, you know, kind of open up and be more receptive to new information, to receive those upgrades, um, to receive those downloads, those transmissions that I was speaking of. You may also receive just divine intervention from those animal totems. Um, but the 7411 is the justice card when you break that down. 1313, 13 is a death. So I feel like you're mirroring someone because we saw 1111, then we saw this 1313. So perhaps someone or something that you are attracting to you is going to be made in your likeness. A alike, B alike. So you're attracting your tribe, which is why you may have had some sort of profound um, realization that you need to kind of change, you know, your circle, you know, get a rid of, get rid of people that are not, um, helping you to become your greatest and best version of yourself. Because as the saying goes, if you hang around, you know, for the dun -da you're going to be the fifth. So it's really about, you know, aligning yourself with the right people, aligning yourself with your tribe. We got to kind of let the chips fall where they may. And, you know, anything that doesn't serve your highest good or anything that may be blocking or delaying you, because we did see that that 1010 that has to be disposed of so it is really about an awakening because the 20 the judgment card that i was expounding on that is about having a wake-up call and the judgment card has archangel Raphael. so we do feel or i do feel like there has been some really um really profound healing um healing at a soul level um you know doing a lot of of introspective work, reflective work, really contemplating, recovering, recuperating from past hurts and pains, traumas. Um, but I feel like now it's almost like spirit is saying, this is your time. This is your time. You know, not only is this the a time to be alive because we're seeing so many shifts, so many things are happening celestially that we haven't seen in hundreds of years. And they're all taking place right now. Um, mainly there's like five or six planets that are, um, 
you know, that are direct right now. Like it's, it's, it's a whole amazing, um, situation that's taking place right now. And we're all here in this space and time to witness it. So we are always encouraged to transform and to grow and to evolve. And in order to do that, you have to always be, you always have to be building 1515. I just saw. So you all had maybe been dealing with a lot of devilish energy. You could have been doing a lot of shadow work of your own, um, which is also why you could have been feeling like, you know, what's this feeling coming over me? Because now it's like you are shedding. I'm seeing like a snake shedding and a shedding is really like going through a startling metamorphosis because that's what, you know, that caterpillar goes through in order to transform into that beautiful butterfly. So I feel like you had to not only identify, you know, the devils around you or the people speaking with a forked tongue, but you also had to identify that within yourself. And that takes and requires, you know, self-awareness and onus and accountability. You have to be responsible for your transformation, for, you know, the shift that is to occur. And so I feel like that's where you all are. And that's why I feel like there's this emergence now because we saw that 1313, which is like death and transformation and then emerging someone new. 1616, towers done fell and now you're rebuilding. And this time around, you're going to rebuild on a more solid foundation because whatever you were dealing with, it was built on a faulty foundation. They weren't really able to sustain um, the impact of, you know, real life situations or um, traumatic situations or adversities or traumas or pain. It's like, you know, the slightest, um, the slightest opposition or the slightest test it, it it shook it shook the foundation so now in this cycle of your life you're going to build on a more solid foundation and you're going to be sure that the people that you choose and select and align yourself with are on the same time same frequency and vibration as you so that's a very powerful energy right now we have wu-tang clan ain't nothing to f with and so that's where you all are you ain't nothing to play with you ain't nothing to, you're not nothing to toy with right now because you are serious about this thing it's like you may have just discovered what your purpose is your passion is what your power are powers are um because you know getting to that level of self-mastery is really why you've matured. Um, when we opened up the reading with that five, that's the hierophant. And that really speaks to maturation and growth and elevating and building wealth and knowledge. So we're going to tap in, but this 11 is saying you're getting your just due. Mama Ma'at has everyone's address and she's observed and she's watched and she's recognized more importantly, the work that you've done. You don't get rewarded unless you proved yourself to have done the work. And many of you that are tuning and tapping in have been proven. You've been tried you've been tested which is why we saw 1010 which reduces to 20 and that's why you also have endings which denote a new beginning so i congratulate you all for doing the work right now we have gil scott heron um and this is called the bottle so for many of you all you had to break um addictions you know when i think of the bottle i'm just hearing like you know, like an, a liquor bottle, you know, I, that's the first thing I saw. But I also feel like, you know, as I was feeling earlier, some of you all may have been suppressing things, keeping things bottled up. And now you're going to just start expressing yourself because we saw that five, um, you know, that five opened up the reading. And then we also had, um, who was the group? Why do I keep forgetting the name? The, the blue magic, we, we had the blue magic reference, um, which also deals with the throat chakra. That's the blue um, with, um, with that energy. So let's tap in. So we got 74, which is the nature. And then we also have 48, which is financial discipline. And remember, I was breaking down the 1974, which was 12. And this is that 12 that I was seeing. So I do feel like you're not playing when it comes to your stability, when it comes to your security. And you've also evolved. Like you've learned, you know, that financial discipline is necessary in order to be independent and stand perpendicular in your square your finances have to be right so for many of you you could be really focusing on getting your credit scores together um saving up your cash you know maybe some of you all are honing certain skills or maybe you have been doing that and now you're starting to generate you know more income you're starting to see so you know your sales pick up if you have businesses some of you could have a job and a business you know on the side and you're starting to generate um, more customers. You're starting to see a gain in that area. And you're going to start also, um, 
noticing people are going to be more willing to um, collaborate or support you in some way. And I feel like it's because of your work and your effort, whatever you, whatever time and energy you put in in the past, it's like, you're absolutely going to see, you know, a return on that investment because this green shows that you've planted a lot of seeds and they're now going to harvest. So this 74 and 48, so this is 11 and this is 12. So that's that breakdown what is that breakdown? 11 and 12. So that's also synchronicity. So for many of you, you could have been born on like, um, I'm getting like in November. So some of you all could be Scorpios, but I'm also getting, you know, the 12th. So that is what Capricorn, Sagittarius, um, energy. So some of you all could be, you know, in that energy, uh, as well. You could be Capricorns or you could be dealing with an earth sign, um, or a water sign, or maybe you all are just collaborating with someone who may have, um, you know, have those elements in their chart. As I said, we all have every element. Um, this could be your sun, moon, arising energy as well. It doesn't have to just be your sun. M most people focus solely on the sun right now. We're in the sun sign of, um, Gemini. So, you know, for many of you, you may, you know, that's another reason why that throat chakra could have opened up the reading because Geminis are known for uh, communication. They are about communicating. So many of you could, you know, really have platforms where you may disseminate information or you may um, have podcasts or you may have, um, you know, maybe your, 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 um, cause I'm hearing like audio books. So I don't know if you're developing your own audio books um, but I just get a feeling like you're using your throat chakra, your throat chakra is opening up and your throat chakra chakra, pardon me, is allowing you, um, to express yourself. And perhaps it's not just communicatively, uh, your throat chakra also is speaking to your artistry. So maybe you're expressing yourself artistically, or maybe you're expressing yourself creatively. You're tapping into your, um, divinity of that divine feminine, divine masculine energy, which is what the 12 breaks down to is the three. So that's that feminine energy, the empress. If you're masculine, that would be the, um, the emperor. But I'm getting a strong feeling of like you're in your power now. That's what this feeling that has come over you. That's why, you know, Blue Magic was, you know, the first song that came out. It's like now you're trusting that. I just saw two, 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 and that's eight. So that's the strength card. Now you're in your power, as I said. And I always feel like, you know, the power card just speaks to you turning pain into power. It wasn't an easy process, but you did it and you did it successfully. I have not pulled a card, but I'm just getting, so I told you spirit has something to say to y'all. So let me go ahead. Let's go ahead. I got to take a deep breath. Beloved, it's a lot to say, a lot to expound and build upon. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have for our beloved collective? What messages do you have for our beloved collective? Let me get a message of peace, message of power, and protection and we have um pharaoh Monch and the name of the song um pharaoh Monch featuring styles p and this is called same shit different toilet so you know some of y'all okay so this card is choosing itself we're going to take it all right i'm going to end that i'm going to see let's first see what's on the bottom of the deck that's how i usually move so we got 96 forgiveness so same shit different toilet this could speak to you know again i was saying trust your intuition and use discernment because i was going into you know the build of your solar plexus being like your second brain and your solar plexus will let you know like you know intuitively and you know, instantly if something is for you or if something is against you. So I feel like that's what spirit is encouraging you to do is to trust your intuition because someone is on the same shit, you know, and perhaps this is someone that may be apologizing or approaching you to apologize. Maybe this is spirit that's telling you, um, you know, forgiveness is for you. Um, but when it comes to apologies, use discernment. Uh, someone could be coming back with the same old tactics, the same old, same old, and spirit is just letting you know, like it's the same, same ish. Um, so this 96, 15, this is a devil. So this is someone that speaks with a forked tongue, someone that 
this is like an emotionally manipulative person who thinks that if they just say the words I'm sorry um, that somehow they're going to be able to wiggle their way in or weasel there I heard weasel spirit correct him he said weasel their way in um, to your good graces um, only to destroy what you are you know in the process of rebuilding and spirit is telling you straight up like frankly they are on the same ish different toilet so it's like there's nothing new here to see so trust your intuition because you're dealing with a devil that is being very persistent okay so let's see what cards flew out for your overall energy divine spirits so we have 99 compassion so with the forgiveness as i said it's always for you and compassion is when you don't judge a person you forgive them and that's why i said forgiveness is for you so when you hold on to animosity anger and you know um resentment there's an old african proverb that if you um hold on to anger it's almost like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die so it's like it's you're doing yourself a disservice by holding on to animosity being angry at somebody you don't even speak to or see or even holding resentment for something they may have done if you have grown and matured, then you should know hurt people, hurt people, hurt people. It's a perpetual cycle. And the same way you had to come out of a situation to heal yourself, they may still be in a process where they're ignorant. Because remember, I was picking up blind ignorance because common song was common. I was picking up like someone lacks common sense and common sense isn't um is it in, it isn't so common nowadays and a lot of that has to do with the conditioning that we have going on with social media people are not emotionally intelligent beings anymore and more importantly they don't really trust their intuition or they're more so um you know submitting their will to other people celebrities people that they think got it like that and it's just like it's a whole thing that's why you got to hold on to you know into your to your will because that is your power but i digress so with this forgiveness this is someone that may be in a devil energy and as i said this is someone that may be needing to do their own shadow work same as you had to do yours because we did see 15 15 earlier and that means there's a mirror so there was some sort of mirrored um you know um reflection um, that you may have shared with a person, but you have since evolved. And so spirit is saying, show compassion because compassion is when you don't judge. Um, you know, it's always when you, when we get to a point where we learn a lesson, that is not an opportunity to start looking down on people like, oh my God, look at these peasants. No, it's an opportunity you, for you to now just position yourself to understand the process that you've been in, you know, this process and this journey that you've been on to your own self-discovery and you'll have a little more compassion for where other people are. I just saw 2727, which is 99, and that's the 18th card. I feel like there was a lot of things hidden, um, you know, and that also is, you know, the shadow work that you did because that's the moon card, 18, and 18 and 18 breaks down to 99, which is 18 again. So the moon represents shadows. It's what's hidden. Deep emotions, same as what I was picking up up earlier with you you know having something becoming unearthed within you and now you know you're starting to understand or realize that this person that may be the devil in your life or this person that may be deceptive or very cunning or conning or someone very like seems very calculating i just feel like spirit saying yo just trust your intuition and they can't harm you um even if they're trying to cast spells protect yourself protect your energy speak protection on yourself do protective you know um rituals whether wearing protective amulets crystals um taking spiritual baths doing egg cleanse doing garlic cleanse whatever you got to do to protect yourself that's what you do because the only way somebody can overtake your power or take oh, power you know take this power from you as if you relinquish it so i just feel like spirit is saying you know show more compassion i feel you know if it's not show more i feel like that's just who you are naturally and innately is just a very compassionate empathetic caring you know person and that is why this person may be trying to come back and try to you know com it's, it's more so like um manipulate you into thinking that you know they're seeking forgiveness when in fact they're just looking for another angle to to get in you know so just be mindful so we have um ghost face killer um cheres cherez churches churches um la ghost so for some of y'all i feel like you ghosted this person 
I feel like you probably, you know, cut the ties, left this person alone. Somebody could be from Staten Island. Um, but I definitely get a sense of like, some of y'all could have just ghosted this person. Um, which is why, you know, they're probably trying to figure out some sort of angle to get in, um, to weasel their way in. Cause that's the word I was hearing earlier. So what you're getting, what did I say about a new beginning and a fresh start? Every ending denotes a new beginning. So I feel like because you have shown compassion, because you have been in the space where you've been doing a lot of internal self audits, where you've been doing a lot of reflective work, healing work, you've been doing a lot of shadow work and healing, you know, and growing and maturing. I feel like now you have deserved, you know, this new beginning. And this all reduces to 10. I feel like there's a turning point in your life because the 10 deals with the wheel of fortune. So I do feel like things are turning in your favor, whatever was being delayed by this devil who could have been like, you know, cause I just get someone who speaks with a forked tongue. So they may say things that they think you want to hear, or, um, you know, just, you know, a mon emotionally manipulative person that tries to, you know, play on your emotions. Um, I feel like you're breaking free from that. Cause what I see, what you're attracting to you is this new beginning. So that could be why they're like amping up their attempt. What I see here with Wu-Tang Clan, again, it says it's yours. So I feel like spirit is confirming that this new beginning is yours. There's nothing this devil can do to block your blessings. You're still going to have a victory over this person. And I feel like because a lot of you realize that someone may be just like mentally ill, disturbed. Someone could be, I'm hearing like even emotionally stunted in some way. And this has a lot to do with their past. It has a lot to do with maybe even past life um, circumstances, but I do feel that this person is also someone that, um, you may have had some sort of soul tie with, and they were brought into your life so that you could do your shadow work and vice versa. So this person does watch you and observe you quite frequently. I get, I get a sense of like, maybe even someone like, uh, 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 like stalking, you know, maybe obsessively stalking or watching you, um, on a regular basis to which you may be very privy to because you're highly intuitive. I just gather that you are very intuitive or you could have your own unique, special, you know, spiritual gifts where you could just, you know, you know, you feel, you can sense. So I just get a sense of that. But I also am feeling like there is something that's destined to come into your life, regardless of what this devil may be trying to pull. Um, I feel they could know and see as well that you have some changes or that you are moving forward or on and upward with your life and that this is the final chapter for them, which is why they may, um, trying anything just to get into your good graces. But I feel like whatever you are pursuing or whatever you are doing or working on spirit is saying it's already yours. So this, whatever is destined for you, it's yours. Whatever spirit is aligning you with whatever this new beginning entails, whether it be a new beginning in just financial freedom, health and wellness, um, just a newfound love for self, maybe even finding new love it's yours. And there's nothing anyone can do. You're going to have a victory you're going to triumph over this devil so how does this person or what scorpio up uh, i said scorpio so some of you that are tuning in are my babies <laughs> from my channel but what are um what is the collective what is this um how does this person or thing that our collective energy is attracting to them feel so we have 88 so during the 88 portal that's the lion's gate i feel something beautiful is going to manifest or coming into your life, I definitely feel like there's some sort of wish fulfillment, a blessing, something unexpected. I feel it's coming in rapidly, quickly, unexpectedly, and it's change. So I definitely feel with another five, the throat chakra, I definitely feel like some of you all may have changed your circumstance because you redirected and refocused your energy on honing a certain skill, gift, or talent, or maybe just even learning something new, building your wealth of knowledge. We have the prodigy here, and this is called breathe. So I feel like this allowed for you to breathe because, you know, it, it's, it's like, I'm also getting a sense like whatever this is that you're doing, whatever you're learning, it's like it just comes natural. It's like breathing is what I heard. You know what I'm saying? And with the prodigy, I feel like you are someone that's very unique. You know, a prodigy is someone very special, very wise. Uh, it's, it's like this is a this is a unique gift, a special gift. And perhaps some of you all will definitely become like, you know, you will reach some level of like... Um, self-mastery, like you've matured, you've changed, like someone notices and acknowledges your changes. 
You know, you're more in harmony now because all of these cards reduced to six. I'm definitely getting a sense like this with this six because that's the lovers. I feel like you're in harmony, but I also feel like there's something changing and shifting in your life and you're going to be aligned with someone because the five could also deal with like institutions of marriage and commitments. It could speak to, you know, as I said earlier, maybe going through a rites of passage, which is changing your mind or changing and shaping your reality. But I also get a strong sense of like spiritual strength, initiation, rites of passage, like Whatever you're honing, whatever skill, gift, and talent, whatever creative gift you have, I feel like that is also um, shifting things, as I said, and especially with this 8-8 eight, eight abundance card on the bottom of the deck. I feel like you will, you know, it's your prophecy. It's like prophetic for you to have success and prosperity. This is powerful. And you will have a victory. You will triumphantly you know, be a victor in the situation and not a victim. Because this is six. And I just see, you know, you, you, you've moved away, you know, from all of the negative Nancys. You've moved away from all of the things that were weighing you down, trying to live vicariously through you, trying to ride your coattail, but still holding these, these resentments. And, and, you know, it's like whatever you, you know, whatever they... Whatever you kind of reflected to this, to these individuals, it it it, did, it it made them uneasy. You know, it's almost like what they say, like when, you know, when your spirit, when you have good energy, good vibrations, it's always very irritable to a demonic entity. And that's just what I'm getting here. And that's why you moved away because you're, 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 you trusted and used like discernment. You, you trusted your intuition. And it told you like, nah, that's not your people. That's not your folk. That's not your cipher. That's not your man. That's not your girl. That's not your family. That's not your friend. That's not the, the place to be working at. That's not no, like it, it let, it led you on this path, which is why you've changed. You've changed positions. You've changed direction. And it's going to lead to something even greater. I hear it gets greater later. And now we have this, um, 63 which is a nine. So that's also a change, a number of change. Nine is the highest number of change. I feel like there's no communication, you know, whether this be with the mother or father to your child or your children, or this could also be like some of you are not communicating with your mothers and fathers, your Umi and your Baba. Like there's no communication. There's some sort of familial, um, there's some familial trauma or some sort of generational curse that some of you all may be, you know, kind of attempting to to break and as i said earlier you know karmic situations and and even people that come in to challenge you they are brought into your life for a reason and it is to challenge you and to help you to navigate certain situations um that may have had you stuck and stagnant or may have had you operating in a way that wasn't you know, in the best light or what may have allowed you to, you know, be around people that didn't have your best interests. It's like, as I said earlier, hurt people hurt people. So maybe you were someone that was hurt and you just naturally gravitated to other hurt individuals or you naturally attracted people that were going to hurt you. And it's a vibration. It's an energy, which is why it's necessary to release yourself and purge yourself of, you know, negativity of negative ways of thinking, being, doing. That's why transformations are important. That's why going through those startling metamorphoses, that's why change is important. A lot of people don't like to change. A lot of people like, you know, are in this silical um, type of existence and, and no growth can take place. Whatever isn't growing is dead. And the only way you grow is when you're challenged, when you are tried and tested, just like that judgment that I referenced earlier. So for some of you, this nine is saying that, you know, there is this cycle where you could be very guarded and, and blocked off. But as I said earlier, forgiveness is for you. Spirit wants you to show compassion, whether this be to your own Umi or Baba, mother or father, or to the mother and father Umi and Baba of your child or children. Forgiveness is for you. And we have Lauren Hill tell him someone could be from New Jerusalem, New Jersey, 
someone's name could be Lauren or Hill. It's been an uphill battle is what I heard instantly is like, this has been an uphill battle. This has been, you know, that's why you, you, you just don't want to engage. That's why you may have ghosted someone, but I feel like spirit wants you to show forgiveness because your forgiveness of that person will also free them. And spirit is saying, if you do have any type of concerns, worries, fears, just tell the most high because this song is tell him, him is the most high. Like sit down and have that spiritual consultation with your higher self. Go outside. Remember the nature card we saw, go outside, take a walk, have a, you know, a nature walk, a nature talk, you know, and give it to the most high, like give all of your worries, your concerns, your fears to the most high, and you will get your answers. Cause a lot of you are guarded, like super guarded. You got your walls up, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you done built walls up and it's like, nobody can tear them down. But in order to receive blessings and, and new opportunities and en embark on this new beginning optimistically, you do have to be more open and receptive, but you cannot receive if you're blocked off and guarded. And it doesn't matter to whom this is, this is why like you, you are well aware of who people are and all you have to do is establish boundaries. That doesn't mean you have to um, take on this this persona of being rigid and cold and mean spirited. You know, like I said, hurt people, hurt people, hurt people. It's perpetual. There's a lot of wounded souls walking around out here. It's a lot of hurt people, and the problem with that is a lot of people that are wounded and hurt and dealing with childhood trauma, familial trauma, or even past life trauma. They get into relationships, and then those relationships, you know result in more trauma because you got two people that have gravitated to each other that have a lot of hurt and they end up hurting themselves creating you know procreating making babies and then them babies is you know products of the environment the unhealthy toxic environment that they had um you know that they had provi provided those children and so now those children are going to have to go back, do the work that their mothers and fathers didn't do. So it's perpetual. So hurt people, hurt people, hurt people. When you do your work and you heal and you realize that, you know, we all have trauma. You know, we come into this, into this reality with trauma, trust, you know, then you will realize that it's not something to take personal. You know, you'll realize it's not personal. It's nothing is ever personal. If anything, people come into your life to teach you. And vice versa. So that's what I feel more than more importantly that spirit is saying. You can establish your boundaries, but you don't have to have a wall and be guarded and be super duper protective of your energy because all you have to do is just establish the boundaries and still live your life. Like you don't want to build a wall and then you become imprisoned. You know, you become a prisoner uh, also because you're not able to just go out and live life because you're so guarded and so super protective and so super, um, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? So, um, the word escapes me. Suspicious. Thank you, spirit. So we have 81 leadership. So this is the new you. New and improved, the nine. So getting rid of this this hurt, wounded person and just stepping into your power yet again. This nine is showing that you know your worth and value. That's like, to me, like, you know, self-discipline, self-love. This is like, you know who you are. You know where you're going. You know where you're headed, you know, ultimately. And when you think of the ninth card, that is the hermit. So you have taken the necessary time you know, to really do the introspective work, as I said, look back in awareness, you know, and see the things that you need to change within yourself because we can only change us. We can't change nobody else. We can wish a mofo would change, but we can't change them, you know, and, and that's the problem. People are out here trying to change other people when they should really just be trying to, you know, change themselves. You can't change another person. That's not your responsibility. You can inspire, you can encourage, you can motivate, but you can never change a person. That's controlling. And it's, you know, a lot of people try to manipulate somebody into becoming who they want them to be, which is a whole other story. But with this 81 leadership, this is a very powerful energy to come into because this is the um, outcome. You know, you go from, you know, because this is another nine. You got nine, nine, nine here. 
So 999 reduces to 27. Remember, we saw 2727. And 2727 or 27th card in the numerology deck is spiritual partnership. So just as I said earlier, I'm pulling the box out thinking the cards are there. And they're actually right here on the side of me. So I just want to find the 27th card just so you can see what I'm saying. And I see 888 here. <laughs> this is beautiful. So I'm seeing 888. And remember, I was speaking to that, you know, Lion's Gate portal in August, August 8th. So something beautiful is coming in, something amazing. But spiritual partnership is the 27th card in this deck. And I just want to show you because you have this 999. And nines are very spiritual as well. Like I said, that's the highest number of change. That's also that hermit, which means that you are someone who is like a wizard. You're very wise. You know to take, you know, the internal self audits, but you also know to seek counsel with your higher self. I just saw 777. I'm seeing nothing but synchronicities in there all together. Look at this. 777. I just saw that. Then we got 888. And I'm breaking down currently 999. So this is confirmation that there's something very um, spectacular that's coming um, into, you know, into your orbits. Um, collective energy. I almost slipped and said Scorpio. This is definitely, I feel this is it right here, right there. Yep. 27. See that? So something is coming, something amazing. And I feel like, as I said, if it's not aligning with a love ship or like a love partner, this is just your tribe. Like you're aligning with your tribe, with your people, with your soul tribe, with your you know, your soul with like your, 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 your soul family. Nine is a spiritual number. Like I feel there's a spiritual awakening that's going on within the collective right now. And as we can see, it's like there's shifts taking place. Like whatever yoke, whatever curse, whatever spell, whatever witchcraft, whatever blockage whatever it was that was had this veil or had you know had you in some sort of illusion even if it was literal like someone just speaking you know negatively or like just kind of because you know people were well, like i said words are spells spells bond so just people people's words maybe someone like was just kind of confusing someone with their words you know, it's like, it's breaking. The, the the chains are breaking. The chains of shaitan are breaking. I'm hearing Lauren Hill say that. And we have de-smoke. And what I'm seeing is like the smoke is dissipating. So the illusion has been broken. The spell has been broken. The chains have been broken. The yoke is broken. The generational curses are broken. The smoke is clearing. Damn. This is powerful, y'all. Spirit got something. Shay! And you're coming into alignment with your tribe, with your people, which is what the collective is ought to be doing right now. You know what I'm saying? Because we in some real serious times. And we do need the warrior spirits to step up. Like, you know, step up. People y'all been looking up to, 11-11 on the clock right now. I, I definitely feel like you're aligned and you're forming like Voltron. Four is a very, it's it's a strong, you know, and powerful number. Not only does it deal with the heart chakra, which I feel is like your heart chakra is opening up and it's sending a signal, like you're, you're emitting, you know, this love, radiating this love. But I also feel with that number four, that's a very auspicious, and powerful number when you think of four not only does it speak to stability but it also represents the four cardinal directions the four elements you know there, there's so much to expound on with that number four it's it's it, it's a solid number and i feel that's what spirit is saying like you are solid it's also representative of the emperor energy, which is a very powerful, divine, masculine energy, a alpha energy, a go-getter, which is why you have, you know, this leadership card, because that's that energy also of what that empress and emperor represent. They are leaders. They're magical beings. Like they are, 
master manifestors. This is beautiful. So we have on the bottom of the, look at that, the deck, we got the Ace of Pentacles, beloved. So rewards recognition. And what was I saying earlier? You will not get rewarded if you didn't do the work. So for this to come out, this just says spirit has something beautiful for you. And we have right now belly intro, soul to soul, back to life. So for many of you all, some of you could be coming back into alignment with your soulmates, with your soul tribe, with a soulmate, a tw you know, twin flame. Someone's going to um, propose. I just saw 4949, which reduces to eight. So to me, that's a wish fulfillment because when I see eight, I think of the star card. I feel like that's also like the eight of wands, like someone's rushing in, coming in, communication with belly. I feel like that's another, you know, indication to trust your gut, your gumption, because it acts as a second brain. It's going to let you know. Speak energy. Don't just go by words. I don't feel like that's you anyway, but just always speak energy. It'll never lead you astray. There's too many stories of people who went against the grain, who didn't do what their gut told them to do, and they paid the they paid for it. I saw this, you know, it's a very sad video, but there was a video um, that I came across on um, my Instagram account, and it was showing this um, Australian man who wanted to break some record and um coyote from australia to new zealand which was about 900 and something miles and you they recorded his last moments of like you know getting preparing his coyote I, am i saying that right the coyote where you like this i don't know if that's like coyote <laughs> it sounds too much like a coyote I, I guess it's coyote i don't know I'm confusing it with karaoke, but maybe it's just coyote. But he, he, his family was there sending him off. And, you know, his son, he had a little son, his wife. Um, and, you know, it was just very sad because we know the outcome. He, they never found him. And as he was leaving, he had like his own video set up on the coyote. And he was like crying you know, like a baby, like breaking down, crying. He looked back and waved to his children, only, you know, to his family, only to never see them. And I feel like that was his spirit, like nudging him, like, don't do this. You know, it's not a really good idea to be in a coyote and going 900 miles in a coyote, you know, and, and you know, rise in power to that beloved, I, you know, but trust your gumption. I, I went, sit, went into that diatribe just to say, like, always trust your gumption. If somebody's like, yo, we going to this party tonight, you should be there. It's going to be Liddy. You know, I got to put that, <laughs> put these little, you know, this is how y'all talk nowadays. <laughs> it's going to be lit. You know what I'm saying? Such and such going to be there. Such and such going to be performing. Get your Uckham girl dress. Come on, let's ride out. And then you hang up the phone and something's like, nah, you should just chill home. Watch your Netflix. <laughs> relax. Catch up on some rest. And you do that, and then you find out somebody called you 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the a.m. You getting all these messages. Yo, they shot the spot up. Oh, my God, two people got, st like, and it's like, yeah. But had you not listened to that and you went, who's to say how that story could have resulted? So I always go with your, your, your gumption. Like, always trust your intuition. I don't care. Like, some, like sometimes I'd be like, damn, I just want to go get a drive and something. Be like, nah, chill. And then... I'll hear there's an accident down the block, around the corner. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And traffic is like backed up for an hour. So the smallest things, you'll be amazed. Your spirit is always communicating with you. Trust your higher instincts because spirit is spiral. Spirit can see around them corners that you can't see. You know what I'm talking about? So let's tap in. So let's get some tarot messages on the split. Look what we have. There goes the Hierophant. <laughs> Remember, we opened up the reading with the number five, and I was telling you that was the Hierophant. So what did we say? So there is a blessing. This is something that you've manifested, something that you're very skilled at, and Spirit is rewarding you. You're getting a return on your investment. Whatever this is that you've been honing, learning, there is going to be an absolute return. Spirit is going to bless you. And I feel like, you know, some of you all may be like, you know, spiritual teachers, healers, shamans, light workers, Reiki healers, channelers, scryers. You may do teacup readings, tea leaf readings. You may read 
tarot cards, you may be psychics, you may be clairvoyant, you may be astral travel, like you have some sort of spiritual gift, you know, because nine is another number that is like a very auspicious number as well. You know, it really connects to that, that wise, you know, that wise dome, like you have a very strong ability to connect to your Christ consciousness or to that God frequency. And it's because you take the necessary time to go within and you don't allow external noises to influence you. You know that the answers you're seeking are found within and the overall energy is that nine, nine compassion. And whenever I see double numbers, I always feel that's what you're attracting to you. So you're attracting more like you, A alike, B alike, more like minds, powerful. And because of your obedience to spirit, you're being rewarded, beloveds. Let's tap in. Let's clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So we got Paris here saying, I choose you. It goes to three of swords with the hierophant. What did I say about you guys going through that shadow, you know, doing that shadow work? Someone could have hurt you, wronged you, did you dirty, and you had to heal from that, grow from that, learn from that, but you've matured. You know what I'm talking about? Like you've matured from this and realized like hurt people hurt people. You know, you're not a victim. You're a victor because you came out of that situation wiser. Things don't happen to you. They happen for you. And you don't go through things. You grow through them. And spirit is saying, I choose you. We're clarifying Compassion 9-9, and there's a song, I Choose You. Some of you all may be, um, someone may propose to you and take you to Paris. Some of you all may have been to Paris. And look what this um, song is, um, this album is called Bluebird. Can you see that? Damn, the lighting is messed up. Let me see if I turn it this way. Can you see that, Bluebird? So Bluebird, that's another throat chakra. So I feel like, you know, this is what you have. Maybe someone's proposing, because remember the Hierophant also deals with like institutions. You have someone that's gonna be very passionate about you. Someone really chooses you. The King of Wands is here with that energy. And a King of Wands goes after what they want. You know what I'm talking about? Like they see something they like, and I'm hearing that song. So you like what you see. Yeah, yeah, you better get a hold on me. I'm hearing that like it's very loud. So someone like is really liking what they see. And I see this five of swords here. So there could be some like, you know, this is like resistance. Also, this could even speak to like some sort of, um, you know, maybe an argument or something hostile and a hostile exchange. Maybe there's some competitive energy. Because I'm seeing like this person like is getting arrested, you know, and then I see the king of the, you know, the jungle, the lion, that's a Leo, you know, that's a Leo energy. That's also fire. So maybe this is that, you know, that energy, something may have occurred between you and this person in the past. Remember I was picking up prisoner before, like when you have your walls up, you could be like a prisoner and this person looks like they're being taken in, you know, the cops are arresting them. And this could be representative of like self-imposed mental anguish. But this also could be like how you may have felt this person, you know, may have had you trapped, may have made you feel um, imprisoned, or this could have been a controlling person. Maybe this is someone that you may have felt had like some sort of wandering eye. Because the Five of Swords is like very competitive, very chaotic, very, you know, it's just like a... um. It's like um, very tr drama. It's drama filled to me. So let's tap in and see what the cards have to say. That's what I'm picking up. Let me see. And I cut the deck several times. Let the spirit tell me when to stop. And he's saying one more after this. So divine spirit, peace, power, and protection. Why is this 99 compassion here for the overall energy? Bottom of deck. Look at that. New beginning. You got new beginning twice. So they're confirming you, you, I feel because you've done your shadow work, because remember the nine, nine breaks down to 18, 18 is the moon energy that speaks to shadow work that speaks to you, you know, doing the reflective work. So whatever devil energy, whatever, you know, whatever negative energy you was dealing with, you, you took the time to go within, to go deep, you know what I'm saying? And you got down to the root of to the tutor. And so now this is why you have this new beginning because you have completed a cycle. Nine is the highest number of change. You realize for yourself that hurt people hurt people. You realize for yourself that you had to, you know, go within because the nine, the 18 breaks down to nine, which is the hermit. 
And that's why you're able here, you know, with the outcome to be a leader because you've done the internal self audits. And, and now you know, you know, what you desire, what you want is yours. You're taking action and you're going after it without any question or a shadow of a doubt. You know what you're capable of, you know what you're deserving of, what you're worthy of. And it's because now you're in this energy because you've done the shadow work. You've healed at a soul level. And so now you can show compassion and you're not holding someone, you know, you know, hostage, you know, or holding someone accountable for work that you are required to do for yourself. Only a victim mentality blames other people. We are not responsible for our behaviors and our actions and how we respond to them. You are the sole controller of your own destiny and you realize that. And not only did you realize that, you realize, let me show this person some love, even though they're throwing hate and vile and, you know, they, they, they showing um, that they have this, this the volatile, um, you know, feeling, but you're, 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 you're countering that by showing love. You know, you're spreading love regardless. It's not going to affect the way you show up in the world. And compassion is forgiveness, more importantly. So you are showing that you've forgiven this person because you realize that, you know, people know not what they do. Ultimately, what we have on the bottom of the deck, what did I speak of? There goes judgment. I told you. Wake up call. You had a wake up call. The judgment card. Everything I mentioned is coming out. So you had a wake up call. And why? We got maze. Frankie Beverly, someone could be from Beverly, New York, uh, Beverly, New York, Beverly, Massachusetts. And I do feel like someone was just like going through like what appeared to be like this mage, like someone's spiritual journey. It was just like you would bump into a dead end or you felt like there was roadblocks. You felt like there was this uphill battle that, you know, and now it's the end to that because you've had a wake up call. And I feel more importantly, you've healed because remember what I said, the, the judgment that's Raphael, um, Archangel, pardon me, Raphael's energy. So he was helping you. He was carrying you through some of this. Every ending denotes this new beginning. So there was a wake up call. I feel like you were going through something karmic, but whatever you experienced karmically, you've made the right decision. And it's leading you to this new, on this new journey, on this new path. You're reaching this new phase, this new stage you know, in your life and you're going to be excited. You got two confirmations of a new, a new beginning and a fresh start. So having some sort of grand epiphany that you're deserving of better, you're deserving of more that you need to relinquish, you know, any form of control and just surrender to spirit, because I feel like you've gained more, you know, confidence in your process or that you've become more obedient in the process. And with this, you know, judgment card, it's like you can see these thick clouds, you know, and this bull represents to me like stubbornness. You know, someone could have been very stubborn. Who or what you're attracting to you is this, you know, new beginning, this fresh start. And I feel spirit is made, as I said, like it recognized and is rewarding you, you know, for all of your efforts, for the work, for the, everything that you've done. Because the 9-9 you know, repeated on this card just shows that you've, you've definitely, you've matured. You realize that, you know, you have to go within. The answers aren't external. They're always internal. That's why I was going into the build on, you know, never submitting your will to other people, you know, not even spiritualists. Like you don't, you know, it's okay to seek advice, but there's nothing anyone, um, external to you can do that you can't do. So that's why, you know, I was picking up like initiation. Some of you all could have gone through some sort of initiation or some of you all could have been um, going through some sort of rites of passage. So you may have aligned yourself with master teachers. You may have aligned yourself with learning and, and building your wealth of knowledge so that you can, you know, because, you know, every great healer has to first heal themselves, just like every great teacher has to first teach themselves. And anyone that is considered, you know, strong is, is someone who had to turn the pain into power. They had to realize and see within themselves, you know, that they had that ability to, you know, to grow through something that could have felt like a death, you know, but this is a beautiful energy. So let's tap in. Why is this new beginnings card here for who or what our beloved collective is attracting to them? So I'm only going to take the card that is upright. 
And these cards, I'm just nosy. I want to see. I'm going to expound on these. And we have um, the page of pentacles here. So there will be some offers. But the card that you actually pulled is the two of wands. So we will, you know, we will um, clarify that. But let's just see what came out. I'm very interested in seeing that. So we have the page of cups. We have the three of wands. And look what we have here. The devil. <laughs> I mentioned that devil. I knew that devil was here. And we have the world, we have the emperor, and then we have the seven of wands. So this all makes sense. You're guarding yourself and protecting yourself from emotionally manipulative individuals because you know that you was dealing with someone that was definitely like speaking with a forked tongue. And you were being tested by this person. This person was constantly testing you. Um, you can see that they trying to, you know, they plot in you know, on this little uh, goat here, three hungry hyenas, you know? And so what I feel like is that's what this person was doing, waiting for you to fall into the trap. And remember when I was picking up like common sense and emotional manipulation from the devil because they had that forgiveness card. So they might come back and try to gaslight you with an apology that isn't, you know, that isn't necessarily sincere. You're, you're not falling for it. You are very protective. You can see this person in this hood and that's like a demon also. That's someone that's not revealing who they truly are. We got the world card, which means that you were being tried and tested, but more importantly, you've graduated. So you've leveled up. You are, you've reached that level of, you know, self-mastery and you have a deeper understanding of the world. And you can even see the snake that I referenced as well when I said you shed you know, you had to shed this energy and you've gone through some sort of startling metamorphosis or some major change. And that's why you have the leadership card here, because this is who you are, you know, showing up in the world as you're presenting as this emperor, someone who's take charge, you know, someone who is in control, someone who changes um, their own reality, takes charge and does the things they want to do. So this is what, why these cards showed up. So with this new this um, new beginning here, there's a decision that you made, you know, is to, you know, go towards this path. The twos always is like, you know, it's like you're juggling, you're, you're indecisive about something and you need to choose wisely. And that's why this new beginning is here because what you're attracting to you is this new beginning. And it's because you're making the decision. And remember what we had when um, we first started the reading and I was saying some of you all you know, could have been dealing with some confusion because we had the song. Um, what was that name of that song? It was like, um, what was it? It was by Blue Magic. And it says, what's come over me. And so that's that energy right there. You know, it's like, what's come over me. And I feel like what's come over you is you've had some sort of epiphany, especially when we look at, you know, that card, the judgment. It's like, there's like this aha moment that you finally, finally, um, you know, had some sort of realization. So this, this is saying like, maybe even you had to, um, heal from, you know, your childhood traumas. And that's what, you know, kind of caused some sort of awakening or, or brought something into perspective or even made it, you know, easier for you to choose wisely the decision, you know, cause this could be like a fork in the road. This could be that person, that devil that's trying to play on your emotions or, you know, weasel their way in. And then there's this new beginning that you could choose. And this could cause some confusion and maybe even a little bit of fear, but fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real. And when you're dealing with the devil, the devil is always speaking with a forked tongue. So I feel like that's why there was some confusion here. We have Jill Scott singing slowly, surely, and we're about to pull the card for um, how someone feels about you change. So someone sees that you've changed slowly and surely. Um, you've definitely, it's been a process. It's not an easy thing to evolve, you know, or to grow through some, you know, something painful, especially when we saw that three of swords, that means there was a lot of pain. There was like a sudden loss. There could have been death in the family. There could have been a death within you, which feels very painful, but you've been through something very transformative and it has triggered this change but it's also matured you in a way we got someone named jill or scott first middle or last someone could be from um philadelphia as well 
Um, someone could also be from Chicago. Someone could be from Staten Island or New York. Um, someone could be from Brooklyn. Um, someone could be from New Jerusalem. Someone could be from California or Sacramento or um, California, Sacramento. Um, someone could be from Yonkers. Someone could be from Paris. Oui, oui, Paris. Someone could be African and speaks French. Someone could know French or taken French classes. But we got the emperor on the bottom of the deck. So you've definitely changed and you changed because you took your power, you owned your power. I feel like those challenges were definitely meant to um, help you grow and evolve um, and mature more importantly. So why is this five change here for um, how our beloved collective, how this person or this thing that our beloved collective is attracting to them feel about them? And get a message of peace power and protection so slowly and surely you have implemented and made some changes we got the six of wands i told you there was going to be a victory i told you there was breakthroughs i told you it was going to have some sort of triumph look at this queen of pentacles can't make this up and you also have the ace of cups or is that the queen yep the ace of cups see that so that's why you've changed because you took your time to get you right you took the time to heal yourself you took the time to grow you took the time to you know, get your stability back to rebuild. And now you're in this position where not only are you stable and self-sufficient, but you're independent, you know, and this is a very powerful energy and you're happy, you know, you're happy. Your independence is the foundation for your stability. And so that's what you did. You took notes, you know, everything that you grew from in that form of experience, you're doing, you know, things a completely different way. And this time around, you realize reciprocity is your love language, you know, giving and take, e equal give and take. Um, you realize being independent is the foundation for your stability and your happiness. But you also realize that you got to be able to take care of you first and foremost, you know. So your self-sufficiency is is of um, the highest importance for you. And you can see clearly, like, y y things are just blossoming and blooming, you know, you have, you know, this abundance and this prosperity, as I said earlier, like it's prophetic that you will be successful and prosperous. It's like it's written, you know, and it's because this new beginning is literally like everything is flourishing. Everything is working out in your favor and you've implemented these changes, the changes that you made, because this is again, as I said, this is maturation. The Hierophant is like you were very obedient. You were very um, you were like that, that a student, you know, you, you was learning, you was absorbing whatever this knowledge is, whatever this is. And you learned a great deal and you're very grounded. You know, you're very domestic. Not only do you make money or you're wealthy or you're successful in business or in your career, but you also know how to take care of your home. You're a very domestic person. So you could cook, you could clean, keep house. You could probably sew, you know what I'm talking about? Like you're a very loving, inviting, and supportive type of person, very giving. Because you can see here this queen, this um, pentacle, she's like, she's giving it away. So you could be someone very kind and generous, always willing to help others. Like you're not a greedy, selfish mind, you know, you have all this, you know, you have a lot, but you're, you know, you, you don't share, you know, you're, you're like <laughs> just hoarding-ish. Like, no, nah, you're like, yo, you need, okay, I got you. You know, but the, the trick is to be, to always establish boundaries. Like you don't have a problem, you know, helping people who are trying to help themselves, you know, and that's a beautiful thing. You got the ace of cups and this is just naturally an attractive person. You know, this queen of pentacles is like, you know, pre empress status. And so you have people wanting to pour into you because you have done so much work on yourself that your energy is just mesmerizing, magnetizing, you know, you're just a very beautiful and grounded person and this too can just speak to that marriage that i was seeing but you're overcoming what i feel is an obstacle you know and we have mary j blige um singing be happy so for many of you you know you're going to be very happy in this next chapter in this next cycle you know this new beginning is going to be very happy for you and maybe that's why you know i was picking up on that devil energy of someone trying to be emotionally manipulative because they see that you are happy 
you know, but don't, you know, the trick is not to, you know, wish harm on anybody just cause you're doing good. Don't, don't like try not to kind of, um, cause you know how sometimes people just kind of want to stun on a mofo. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You just, just be you, you know, you don't even have to go through all of that. You know, you don't even have to shove it in anybody's face. Just be you authentically because they're watching anyway. They see anyway, you know, and, and, and this energy, you know, as I said, it, it's more so I feel spirit is telling you to forgive. Your haters are going to witness your success. You know, all them people that was, you know, praying on your downfall and wishing you fail. It's like it, it, the joke is on them. Because what they was wishing on you and what they was praying, you know, praying for your downfall, they're going to have to eat their words. And they're very much going to get a return on any negative energy they were sending to you. It's going to return right on back to or to his place of origin. Someone could be dealing with someone named Mary J or Blige. Someone could be from Yonkers, New York. Someone could have been born in the 90s, right on the cusp, like 1990. But I definitely feel like, you know, what's hidden is you're going to be very happy. I also feel like, you know, maybe a relationship between a mother and father or Umi and a Baba, whether it's your mother and father, Umi Baba, or someone that you procreated life with, like the relationship is going to improve. Like the two of you are going to be able to get past, you know, um, you know, get past the past, you know, get past those, those hurdles. And it's going to lighten up because this yellow just makes me feel like it's going to lighten up. You know, I feel something is going to change, you know, thank you spirit. So let me finish the shuffle. Thank you. So we have the, what is this? This is the eight of wands. So I was telling y'all, I was seeing like the eight of wands, something coming quickly, you know, but this also just speaks to action. Like you take an action, you could be moving away from a situation you know, cause you can see here, someone's wearing a mask, you know, whenever someone's wearing a mask, I feel like that's someone that's not being their authentic self. Maybe you have a secret admirer. Maybe this person is just watching you secretly. Whatever the case I see, you know, this other person is kind of like standing out to me. That's like climbing that mountain. And remember I was picking up, like it was, it's been an uphill battle. And this person looks like they're going up a hill. It looks like it could be like snow like going up some sort of like snow mount, like a mount, snowy mountain but whatever the case is like they're climbing upward so it's like it's been a journey but I feel like you're moving past it I feel like there's like something that you will be able to overcome because this is about karma eight is the universal we're in an eight universal law and eight is the number of karma, you know, so this person was a karmic, that mother to your child, father to your child was a karmic and they were brought into your life. There were a lot of hurdles that you had to overcome. You know, there was a lot of, you know, a lot of turbulence in the relationship. And I feel like, you know, it's because whoever you was dealing with or whatever you was dealing with, maybe you were, you know, wearing a mask, of, uh, you know, in the situation, the other person was wearing a false mask, but I feel with whatever occurred, it forced you know, someone to, you know, listen to their intuition because this is all self, you know, imposed confusion. And when someone takes the time to take onus and look at things for what they were, they will see that, okay, I wasn't being my authentic self in this situation, or I wasn't, I wasn't dealing with someone who was being their authentic self. And when you realize someone's not being real with you, then you won't invest as much in that situation. And it'll be easier to kind of separate yourself and protect your energy. And so this has been a journey. It has been an uphill battle, but I feel like you're wise enough now to understand that whatever this person was dealing with, that was a part of their, um, spiritual work that they have to do. They got to navigate, um, their past life familial, uh, trauma is the same as you, you know, I'm talking about like, so it's like, this is almost like giving someone grace because this 63 is nine and this eight is eight. So that's 17. And 17 is the, um, the star card. So I feel like now there is this, you know, because this was a painful situation, but now there's wish fulfillments coming in. The eight of wands is like something's rapidly approaching because you did the work. When you turn pain into power, that's like you doing your own work to find emotional, mental, spiritual equilibrium. 
but you're also realizing that you're an alchemist. You're also realizing that you could co-create with source. You're also realizing that you have, you know, some alchemical power you could tap in opposed to just focusing on, you know, this other person. That's where you may have gotten into your bag and started honing your skills, gifts, and talents. What we have on the bottom of the deck, we got the five of cups. So there could have been unrequited love. You could have discovered that there were other people involved that was picking up competition and, you know, people who were challenging you or very hostile situations. And you, you know, the situation taught you to love yourself. When you think of the five of cups, that's someone that walks away, but only to discover that, you know, the person they walked away from was in fact the person they love. And not only did you, you know, have to grow through that, um, but I feel like that's the, you know, very thing that helped you to come into your power. Hence you turning pain into power. So we have Kendrick Lamar here. This is called Steppers. And so what this is showing me is Steppers, like you kept on stepping, you kept on moving, keep it moving. You know, Kendrick Lamar, he's from Cali. Someone's name could be Kendrick or Lamar. But with Steppers, I feel like you just stepped, you, you, like you told some, not either you stepped off or you told somebody step off. Like, and if you didn't say it verbally, you just, you, your energy, your actions, just that's what it said. It's just like step off. Because eight is like karma. What goes around comes back around again. So with that judgment card we saw, I feel like someone's receiving karma. Someone's getting a judgment. Someone wants justice in a situation. Or someone's simply getting justice. Things are turning out in their favor because they, you know, maintained, like I said, they were righteous in the situation. They stayed perpendicular on their square. They didn't waver. They didn't become bitter. They didn't, you know, be vindictive. They didn't do what was being done to them. They just kept their eyes on the prize, on the prize and kept it moving. No matter how steep the mountain became, no matter how many darts was being thrown at this person, they, they continued to go. They continue to push forward. Why is 81 leadership here for the outcome for my beloved collective? And we have observer. See that? What did I say about taking that time to observe, to, to analyze the situation going within? His eyes are closed, which means he's going within. Or not closed, he's blindfolded. So that means he's going within. But if you look closely, these are eyeballs. So that's just like your intuition, trusting your intuition. That's also angels and guides. And look what's on the bottom of the deck. We got the wheel of, um, I said the wheel. So we got the uh, judgment, the 10 of pentacles, and then the observer. So this is like spirit rewarding you. The card that actually flew out, we got the four of pentacles. So this is you coming up with some grand ideas, new ideas. The devil is beneath all these cards too. These three cards I showed you, the devil is right here. So that's why you're still kind of observing, you know, you could really not be taking action because you could be picking up on people's energy. But what people don't realize is, as I said earlier, you're highly spiritual, psychic, intuitive, clairaudient, clairvoyant. Like you got some ability to see through the bull ish. You speak energy. So if this devil thinks that they're going unnoticed, you already picking up on them. You already, you, you already know. Some of you all continue to pray because this person could be praying on you. I'm seeing, you know, because we got DMX singing pray and DMX, you know, rising power to that brother. Um, his name is an acronym for Dark Man X. So I feel like you got a hater. You got some secret envious energy, jealous and en en energy, you know, kind of sneaking and, you know, snooping around. And so I feel like with prayer, some of you all are praying people. You may, you know, be praying at night or praying um, for your protection. But I also feel like this is just saying like, cause I was speaking about that devil. You got someone praying on your downfall or praying, you know, on, um, you to fail with the four of pentacles. I'm seeing another mask. So I just get a sense of this is that person that doesn't want to let you go. And you can see here with this light bulb going off, like you, you already, you know, it's like, you're already hip to whoever this is or whatever this person is up to. I don't feel like, you know, they're not as beguiling as they think they are. I want to get a couple of messages. I feel like I want some additional messages. And I'm going to use my deck that I created. And then we're going to wrap it up. I like to go deep, deep, deep dives, baby. I'm a water sign, so I like to go deep. All right, so what we have on the bottom of the deck, we have Regal Royals. There's levels, and you supersede them. Diamond in the rough. So what did I say? You know, some folks, they, they could become, you know, very much, you know, obsessive, you know, and even, you know, possessive, you know, but this is someone that could definitely be like, you know, they can't keep their eyes off you. This could be, you know, especially with that demon, um, that devil energy. I said demon. Some, someone is, 
you know, um, has a lot of demons. They're fighting their demons. I feel you're definitely very guarded, you know, and you're, you're more so focused on mastering your craft. You're focused on your finances. You're fo focused on your stability, your security, on your business, on your family, your children. Like you're not, you could be coming up with some new inventive ideas, monumental ideas, groundbreaking ideas. We got um, Che Noir, and this is called Dying Breed. So you're very rare. You're a rare breed. When I hear Dying Breed, you know, I, and I was expounding earlier on, you know, common sense not being so common nowadays. So that, that could be you. Like, you could be someone that's, you know, very intuitive. You, you old school. You're from the old school. Like I said, some of y'all could have been born in 1974 because we saw that song by Blue Magic um, was, you know, 1974. So y'all are from a different breed and most chosen ones are, you know, very different. You know, they are the black or white sheep in the family. They're the ones that are the weirdos. They're the ones everybody thinks is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, you know, but meanwhile, those are the ones whose first eye has been open since child, like since being a child. So let's tap in, beloveds. So we have sun gaze and lightning enlightenment ritual so remember we saw that energy and i was saying like you know the, the nature card and it was saying go out in nature so i feel like spirit is telling you like you'll get some downloads when you sun gaze make sure you're going in the very early a.m when the sun is just rising don't do that like 10 11 o'clock because you'll mess around can't see <laughs> like make sure you're doing it when it's like that golden color because it's going to give you some downloads, especially when it comes to like a new beginning or a fresh start. I feel like you're going to get some powerful divine intervention from spirit. And it may also enlighten you um, to the fact that, you know, because some of y'all may be struggling with forgiveness or struggling with showing someone compassion because they may have done you dirty, especially when we saw that three of swords. But I feel like this is spirit saying like you're going to become enlightened when you step outside it will give you a different perspective, a different vantage point, and it will also give you the strength to move on because a lot of you are still allowing your hurt to hinder you, you know, and that could be what's hindering and blocking a fresh start. So when you are able to see something from a different perspective or vantage point, then you'll be able to forgive someone. What we have right here is don't be complacent. Go out and get what you want, what you desire. So remember when I was saying there was choices and decisions that someone needed to make? And that's the epiphany that some of you all have come to. It's time for me to go out and get what I want and to take action. Because whatever was trying to confuse you or whatever confusion you was dealing with, maybe you were stuck in two minds. Maybe you were still holding on to the past and trying to move forward. You can't do both because it's just like you're going to be doing this. You know what I'm talking about? So it's like, you know, that's why it's like this is anguish. It's like, oh, my God, what do I do? You know, what choice? That's why I was feeling like someone was like, you know, suppressing a feeling, an emotion, a decision, like not knowing what to do. But I see someone making the decision and charging full steam ahead. You know, maybe that was a little bit of stubbornness, a little hard headedness. Maybe someone was stuck in their ways and they had to change. And when they changed, all of this stuff started opening up. You know, you got to change. Change is inevitable. And what we have playing right now is Cleo soul self. So for many of you, you had to, you focused on yourself. You had to focus on yourself because when you start, you know, putting other people before yourself, that's why you could have been stuck and stagnant. We always have to prioritize ourselves. Self-love, self-worth, self-value. That's what self-discipline is. And self-love becomes more attractive when you're always overcompensating and, you know, appeasing and pleasing. Nobody respects that. You think they do. You think they'll appreciate it, but they don't. They just take advantage and they'll just take, 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 especially if you're dealing with a devil, especially if you're dealing with opportunistic people. And so I feel like that could have been something that you may have learned or discovered. So you're now more um, of a take charge, go after what you want. And you can see that clearly with this person that's riding, you know, this bull, like he's taking charge. He is, you know, to, to ride a whole, a bull is, is um, it requires like, technique and strategy and strength so why is this new beginning the two of wands here for who or what my beloved collective is attracting to them someone can be from um the uk as cleo soul so we have a couple cards that flew out we're going to see what's on the bottom of the deck we have twin flame beloveds and we did see 11 11 twice so twin flame a house of mirrors com commonalities and in interest value strengths hope weaknesses dreams so remember we was talking about reflection so you could be dealing with someone that could be your um twin flame and that's why there's this decision 
That's why there's this, there's this choice. You're going to have to choose between maybe two people, you know, and that, and, and spirit is clearly saying it's time for a new, fresh start, a new beginning, you know? So the cards that flew out, it says cowards run from a problem, not towards it. If they wanted to, they would have fought for you. So that's what you're coming to realize. Like if this was really real, someone would have fought for you, fought for the relationship. They would have made time. They wouldn't have made excuses. And, and it's a like, it's a painful realization, but it's one that you've come to. So you're having some sort of epiphany. You're realizing someone wasn't meant for you or someone wasn't, you know, your person. And then we have for the love of money. It says for the love of money, moolah, dough, cheddar, cheese, biscuits. And it says greed. So someone could have just been with you because of the benefits. You know, they could have been with you because you were perhaps someone that was, you know, a great provider. You had a nice home. You had a lot of money. You had a lot to offer. You were domestic. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful, giving, caring. Remember what I said about people, you know, taking advantage of individuals that are very kind hearted and generous you know, and the need to set those boundaries. So who or whatever you were attracting to you, it's like you're leaving, you're making a decision to walk away. Because remember, I was picking up on like devil energy, you, you know, having a bunch of people in your cipher that you really need to cut ties with because you are aligning with your actual soul tribe. You know what I'm talking about? Like new beginnings mean it's a fresh start. It's new beginning. It's a new chapter. So all this old, stuck, stagnant, stale energy has to be gone. You have to be done with it because whatever isn't growing is dead. And I feel like spirit is saying you're aligning with your twin flame. Someone is going to put a ring on that finger. Some of you all are going to be proposed to. Someone's going to take your ass to Paris. Someone's going to let you know that they care. And I feel like this could be a secret admirer. Someone could be from Texas. Someone sees you as a print, a queen, a, a, a empress. Someone definitely cares about you. You're going to have someone that cares about you, that's supportive, that's your rock. You're going to have somebody that is like into, you know, very much like the home and the hearth and the happily ever after vibes. Like this is someone that your angels and your guides and spirit is aligning you with, with the ace of cups. And you are already, you know, this is what you needed to learn. Like, you know, you needed to learn to be independent. So a lot of you have been independent or single for quite some time. You learn to love you on yourselves and take care of yourselves. You learn what your likes are. You learn what your love language is. You learn what your, you know, what, what your, um, you learn what your boundaries are. You learn not to settle. And that's what's necessary. Like people don't realize like when you, when you have like traumatic experiences in a relationship and you have like that three of swords shows up that shows that was some sort of pain that was just like you can't even imagine the hurt because it was something that was perhaps you know unexpected you know and to have to heal from that and to heal and to get to this place where now you are you know you look at that big old smile beaming from her face or his face like whoever you are that's tuning in like that's where you're at now where you're healed you're content with who you are you know who you are and you don't need validation from anyone. And when you're in that energy and exuding that, you're going to attract that. That's why I said A like B like. You're going to attract a like-minded person. Chemistry going to be off the Richter. The synergy going to be off the Richter. It's going to feel so real that it's going to be like, you know, this is like a soulmate or a twin flame. We got Regal Royal on the bottom of the deck yet again. So there's levels. Someone definitely sees you as a diamond in the rough. Because I was picking up like some of you all are like just... You're a rare breed. So why is this five change, Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups here for how um, this person or this um, thing that our beloved collective feels about our collective? Why is the five change and the Queen of Pentacles here and the Ace of Cups here for our collective spirit? All right. There's a lot of messages. Complete the shuffle. Bottom of the deck, we got go deeper. <laughs> it says you haven't scratched the surface. See that? So this just to me says like there was a lot of hurt because that's going to be the energy on the bottom of the deck when we pull um, what's hidden. But even if we were to add that to this build, it's just like you went deep. Like I said, there was a lot of layers, you know, it was a lot of layers to uncover. And when you have something that you're suppressing or emotions or feelings or if there's just something that you have yet to address, you have to take that time you know, to do the internal self audits. And that's what you did. You know, maybe there was someone who didn't really see your worth. They only saw surface level you. They didn't really see 
all that you brought to the table. You know what I'm talking about? And now you're going to have someone who's going to go in depth. Like this is going to be so someone that's very, um, you know, very, uh, stimulating to you. You know, they find you to be very stimulating or mysterious, you know, interesting, intriguing, you know, and they're going to just want to take time to just have conversation, you know, take time to just really get to know you, to get to know what you like, who you are, you know, what your favorite artist is, what your favorite movies are. And I could just see the two of y'all like, just like, you know, sun up, sun down type ish, like just sitting on the phone from sundown to sun up, like just time. There is no, no, no time doesn't exist. You know, it's almost like the, t the clock just stops when you and this person engage in your, um, conversations. This is beautiful. What we have is ringing in the ears, right? That means spirit is communicating with you, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, or um, someone you have a very strong energetic connection to. If it's your left ear, there's a message from your higher self or some sort of shift that is occurring in your um, vibrational field. So, you know, that could, that shift um, or that ringing in the ear, pardon me, if like my, my ears always ring, it's always mostly my right ear, but there are times when my left ear rings. And so that could be a strong indication that um, you may have someone that could be, you know, kind of thinking of you. Maybe someone speaks your name and you're picking up on that because, as I said, many of you are very sensitive to the energies around you. We also have cheesing from ear to ear, the courtship, let your guard down. Remember what I said, you, you, you got a wall up and it's very hard to receive if you got this wall up, so it's like be receptive, but you're going to be very happy. You know what I'm saying? Remember we had Mary J. Blige saying happy earlier. So some of you are going to be very happy and you can see clearly she's smiling, you know, she's sitting here smiling because, you know, this queen, um, this ace of cups, the most high universe source, the divine is offering like they're blessing you and bringing in real love. That's going to lead to like what I see is marriage because five is the matrimony card to me. And we also have infinite possibilities. Keep your head to the sky and keep trying. So you have definitely have some sort of blessing, some sort of wish fulfillment. A lot of you have shown nothing but resilience. You've persevered through some really painful situations. And that's why there's blessings. And, you know, a lot of blessings are coming in because of the seeds you've sowed in the past. You know, this is like karma dharma. What you put out, you get back. And that's what I'm seeing here. And then we have Mama Oshun, beauty, love, attraction. You sexy thing, you. See that? I love this. So a lot of you... Do a beautiful ritual to Mama Yemenya. I mean, Mama Oshun or Mama Yemenya, because that came out for a reason. Um, when you look at the ocean, this is their energy. You know, the water, the ocean. This even could be Mama um, Oshun. She wears yellow and she's also, you know, her days are Friday. So you could light a yellow candle, put a little honey, pumpkin, you know, a little sugar, you know, and, and really call in that new love. Maybe that's something you're doing, but I feel like someone finds you very attractive, even if you're masculine, very handsome, dapper, debonair, you know, a lot of you all are attracting what you deserve and what you desire. Because as I said, when you are in that energy of the divine feminine, divine masculine, you're master manifestors. And so what we have here with go deeper, I do feel like a lot of you may have got back to, you know, like the root cause of a situation with your mom, your dad, uh, with your father, your, you know, your mother, with your Baba, your, you know, Umi, like you may have gotten to the root cause because it says go deeper. You haven't even scratched the surface. So for many of you that involved forgiveness, you know, because forgiveness is for you. And some of you may have discovered that, you know, there were some, you know, some pains that someone has yet to address, or there were some things that someone was dealing with, um, that was beyond you and they had to do their own work same as you i see two people on two different missions you know and so you were on your mission to you know move upward and onward to grow from a situation where someone could have been wearing a mask and just you know kind of like being like a just like almost elusive like trying to avoid things trying to run away from you know um the responsibilities of dealing with a situation um whereas you took it head on you know what i'm talking about because whenever I see someone wearing a mask, I just feel like they're not being their authentic self. And so I feel like in many ways, that's what you was dealing with. But I feel like it was an uphill battle when you were dealing with this person. Maybe someone wasn't even aware they were wearing a mask because that was something that was like almost, you know, you, you become a product of your environment. And if, as I said, if hurt people hurt people, it's like it's cyclical. 
you know so this could be something that's generational across the board it's clear someone was like you know dealing with a lot of illusions perhaps so let's tap in why is the 63 parenting and this eight of wands here i do see there's movement though nonetheless like movements you know okay thank you so i'm gonna take that and I'm going to finish shuffling. Thank you, Spirit. So this card also wants to be selected. In the bottom of the deck, we have, look at that. And it says, I always feel like somebody's watching me. So you do have a lot of evil eyes. Remember what I told you about, you know, folks could, you know, always be tuning in and, and watching, you know, kind of praying on your downfall, kind of hoping you fail, hoping things don't work out. But whatever they're hoping and sending to you, they're going to receive it right on back to sender. It's going to return right to its place of origin. And you could be picking up on that. Hence, you sitting here, you know, kind of picking up on all the fugaziness on all the time. And that's why you're going to be cut, 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 snip, snip, snip in energy because you realize that, you know, you can't deal, you know, with um, the negativity. It's not becoming. It's not healthy. So what you have here is love is a battlefield. Um, is it worth the fight? Question, seek answers. So this is what you have right here. So this was definitely a battlefield, you know, between you um, and whether this is your mother, father, umi, baba, you know, or the mother or father to your child or children. This was a battlefield. This was definitely not uh, one of those situations where it was like, you know, it, 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 there was a nucleus type of situation. This was more so like you felt like you was sleeping with the enemy. There was a lot of warring arguments. It was just very challenging. And hence me feeling it was an uphill battle. It was just constant, you know, drama arguments. And that's why you had to build that wall, which makes sense, you know, to protect yourself, to protect your peace, to protect your heart. More importantly, and I feel like with question, seek answers, that's when you went into hermit mode and set up, you know, the guard, you refused to let someone in. You could have ghosted this person, you know, because the nine is the hermit. So you went within for those answers that you were seeking. And what it told you was to set up the wall to protect yourself. And it also could be like the nine of wands. You know, the nine of wands is, you know, that wounded warrior that builds the wall. And the wall is very representative of all of the people that have disappointed you, deceived you, betrayed you, gaslit, whatever. And it's like you refuse to continue to be someone else's or other people's punching bag. And so that's why you're here now. You know, in the space where you're now loving and protecting yourself, prioritizing yourself. And there goes the world card in my deck. So this shows that you've grown tremendously. Like you've gained, as I said earlier, like a deep or more profound understanding of yourself. You know, this has provided a different perspective. And this has allowed for you to also obtain that knowledge of self, to learn what your boundaries are, to learn what you deserve, to learn, you know, um, to even learn, you know, how to navigate uh, tough situations, but you are more in a spiritual alignment after this situation because this was the stepping stone. I heard stepping stone by this person, you know, walking up. It's like a stepping stone to you now being in that space of self-mastery, which is why your your outcome is leadership. So now you're in control and the sole controller of your destiny and your wiser you're brighter. The world card rep is the last card of the major arcana. It reduces, you know, 21 reduces to three. That's the empress self mastery all day long. Some of you may be traveling. You may have created that distance. As I said, emotional, mental, spiritual distance from that person communicate. Can you, there's like no communication. You may have blocked that person. And this person is watching you regardless. And you know this. This could be, you know, like I said, but let's tap in. I feel like spirit wants you to forgive because that's why we have compassion. All right. So these cards are sticking up for your messages, for the outcome. And we have knowing is half the battle. Now you must apply. So just because you know who this person is or we've identified through this reading who this person is, now you must apply um, what you've learned. And as I said earlier, Forgiveness is for you. It's not for them. That don't mean you got to take them back and let them back in your world uh, because I feel like this person is still unhealed and unhinged. Um, I feel like they still got a lot of work to do, but I feel like just release them from the anger, from the resentment, whatever you may be carrying in your spirit. And we have Oshun here, East. So we just pulled the Oshun card. We just saw that energy, Mama Oshun, but how someone feels about you or what you're attracting to you feels about you, which is a goddess energy. Uh, uh, you know, we did see that Regal Royal card. Um, but this is also saying with East, someone could be live, live on the East Coast. Someone could live on the East side of town. 
Um, I feel like someone could be, um, could reside on the east of you, you know, but either way, I definitely am getting a sense like that you are seen as like a goddess, as an empress. But knowing is half the battle. Um, now you must apply is also saying like whatever you've learned in this journey, even with compassion here, you're going to apply it moving forward. Like you're not repeating any cycles. You're not going to duplicate anything um, in any way, shape, form or fashion. Like you're going to do things differently because that's why they looking at you like, dang, you a whole new person. Like you're, you're new and improved. You've changed. So the cards that flew out for to clarify 81 leadership in the four of pentacles is we have go back to the drawing board, re-strategize. So this is someone that could be doing just that, getting new ideas, trying to figure that out. Maybe you're mastering something, as I said, you know, maybe this is like impertinence to, you know, some sort of business that you have. So you're getting some new ideas or you're just, you know, kind of messing around with some different ideas, but just you're creative. You're being in, you're in a creative mode. Next, we have build an emotional connection over a physical one. So that's the change that you're going to be making moving forward. Like you're not like, and I said that earlier, it's like you, you, this time around, you're going to take things slow. This time around, you're looking to be stimulated, you know, outside of just being physically stimulated. You're looking to be emotionally, mentally, spiritually stimulated. And I feel like whoever you're attracting to you, they're, they're you know, perhaps, you know, going to kind of um, approach you differently as well. Maybe someone is ready to come towards you, someone, because I see lightning bolts. And whenever I see that, I always feel like there's some sort of communication. This is someone you don't even know, because I get secret admirer from this. I don't get negative energy per se, but I get secret admirer. And this is someone that knows like you and your boss energy, you on, you know, you on your square, you in that warrior energy, the divine feminine, divine masculine energy, alpha male, alpha female energy. So they like, yo, I gotta, I gotta come correct. So they like, let me re-strategize, plan, prepare how to come back. Because they see you as a goddess. Like I said, with Oshun here, you're definitely in that goddess energy if you're masculine in that god energy. And then it says build an emotional connection, you know, over a physical one. So this person already knows, like, for them to come in, they're going to have to, you know, approach you in a manner that is, um, that is more emotionally, um, that's more emotional opposed to just you know, coming in and, 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 um, being what I feel is superficial because I'm hearing superficial, but this is your reading collective. I hope this message resonates. I thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in. If you found that it did resonate, please be kind and appreciate my time. And the way you could show me that hit the like button, hit the share button. If the message is resonated, definitely hit the subscribe button. But I thank you so much for taking the time. If you got this far salute to you. Uh, and to my beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I send y'all infinite love and light. Until next time, peace.